Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about the one and done eyeshadow looks. And those are my favorites. I've been a fan of one and done for many, many years. And I love doing one and done looks because it's just so simple, yet the eyes look complete, pulled together, and it doesn't take a lot of time, a lot of product, it's not fussy, there's no learning curve to it. You just put a color on and you're out the door. And it could not be simpler. And I rely on these types of looks a lot during the summertime when I'm taking my annual vacation with the kids during the summer and we go somewhere as a family. I don't want to spend 45 minutes to an hour doing my makeup. That's time that I could be spending enjoying wherever I'm at. So the quicker I can get done with my makeup, the better. So I love one and done colors, eyeshadows for summer when I'm getting ready quickly. I need to be done and I only have 10 minutes kind of spontaneous, hey, let's go grab some lunch. I wanna look put together, I don't wanna look like a mess, so I do the one shadow looks. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorites, give you some tips and tricks throughout the video, and then also do a tutorial, sort of combining the recommendations and a tutorial in one video. I will show you the look that I'm wearing today for my eyes. Everything else for the face will be listed in the description box, so expand that if you're interested. But today, I wanna to start off with the products themselves. When it comes to one shadow looks, the first thing automatically that I think of in my mind are shadow sticks. They're everywhere. You can find them at the drugstore, you can find them at high end, even luxury brands. Um, they're everywhere. And there's different formulas, different colors, different finishes. You can have some that are shimmery, metallic, matte, some with glitter. I'm a huge fan of shadow sticks and I have lots to show you. I have a bunch and I can't, I don't have enough hands to show you all of mine. I'm not gonna go one by one with the colors and the brands. I'm just gonna give you some of my favorites off the top of my head. I think one of the most well-known cult classics when it comes to shadow sticks are the Bobbi Brown ones. And of course, Laura Mercier. Those two are like the top OGs and I absolutely love them. I picked some of my favorites from my drawer. I absolutely love Dusty Mauve and this one called Golden Bronze from Bobbi Brown. These are like the ones that I use when I travel. I almost always take my Bobbi Brown cream shadow sticks because once you blend them and they are applied where you want them, they stay. They don't fade, they don't disappear, they don't migrate into the crease, they don't break down over time. They just stay on and it's just a fantastic formula. So out of anything that I'm showing you, I think Bobbi Brown is the one you have to try if you have not tried the longer cream shadow sticks. So one and done for me, I like a color that has a little bit more depth. I don't want something really dark, but I also don't want anything that's too light and just shimmery, more of like a highlighter because I can then just put a highlighter on my eyes and then call it a day. But I also don't want anything super dark on the opposite end of the spectrum where it's like, whoa, that's an intense smoky eye because sometimes those really deep shades that are almost dark, like smoky shades, need a little bit more finessing. Not all formulas that create a really dark dark black or brown are easy to work with sometimes they are a dream to work with and then other times they look patchy dry they're skipping they're not blending they're tugging and you need more time one and done is just quick and easy so the formula is important but I think the color you want a color that looks one way on the lids and then different in the crease when the light hits your eye you want it to have that dimension where it looks like it's multiple things going on in your eye, but it's really just one product. And that's the beauty of the one and done. So I'm gonna give you some of my favorites, like these from Bobbi Brown, favorite brands and products recommendations, but I will share with you a few swatches of some of the shades that are just perfect right up that sweet spot in the middle of not too dark, not too light, just right there in the middle. And for me, I think that the biggest one that I absolutely love is Golden Bronze from Bobbi Brown. So I'm gonna swatch it for you because I just love it. So these shadow sticks, they're best known because they're not only easy to use, but you can just twist it. There's no sharpener required. You scribble it on and you blend it with your finger, blend it with a brush. You can take your finger, take it off of the product, then blend. You really can do whatever you want. Golden Bronze, let's start with that one, is a little bit bronzy, a little bit taupey, um, a little bit more on the cool side, but when the light hits it, it looks kind of grayish, but when you turn, it looks a little different. You see what I mean? Like it's just... There's something really magical and special about this golden bronze shade where it looks cool, but then when you turn your hand and the light catches it, it's a little different. It's a little bit bronzy. There is a very intense metallic finish. I also think that's important too when you're doing the one shadow looks. It's not just using something matte because I feel like 
that sort of shimmer, that metallic, a little bit of maybe a sparkle, maybe even glitter, it just sort of captures the light a little bit different than a matte does. So I think that that's important too. You want something that has a bit of a shimmer to it. And that is just, you see, it's just effortless. I will show you how easy it is to get the color to transfer from this product onto your eyes. I love it. And it will stay on. So I'm going to try to like take this off as best as I can. I'm still left with a little bit of a shimmer, but it's okay. Um, they do stay on really well. And you have a little bit of playtime with the Bobbi Brown ones. The next one is called Dusty Mauve. This is, this was one of my very first ones that I purchased. This one is more of your kind of purpley tone. Really, really pretty. It's kind of similar to the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Amethyst, which is one of her most popular ones. So this one here is kind of similar. It's a little bit cooler, but again, it adds a little bit more of that sort of metallic finish and it is absolutely beautiful especially if you have brown eyes this makes your eyes pop because brown is one of those colors that it's very complimentary to dark brown eyes but honestly that shade and that tone of dusty mauve can be used with any eye color and it is beautiful so I love 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 those I also really like it cosmetics they have come out with their superhero no tug shadow six these been out for probably a couple of years I have several of them. I like the formula. I personally really love Super Slate. It's again one of those that's a bit kind of bronzy, but not too dark. And I'll swatch it for you. It's bronzy. It's got some depth. It is a bit softer than the Golden Bronze from Bobby Brown. That one from Bobby Brown, it leans more metallic in finish versus this one. It Cosmetics is one of those brands that I feel like anybody can use and their metallics and their shimmers are very delicate very sophisticated very soft there's nothing glittery and chunky about this specific shade and i like that there is some depth but it is slightly kind of on the cool side there's a bit of gray in this one and i like that one um i have a few like this one that's called bear and brave is more on the matte side and this is nice too like if i just wanted a quick now i'll show you what this one looks like it's a bit more rosy if I wanted a quick look, it's a bit more rosy, but still slightly cool um, in tone. And I do like how that blends out in the crease. I can use that on my lower lash line. Silk Armor is beautiful. It's more of a, like a rose gold. And this one is a little bit lighter. That's Silk Armor there. I do have this one, which I actually want to apply some in my inner corner. This one's called Passionate Pearl. This one doesn't really align with the whole one and done for me personally because it is very light. It's one that I use to highlight like the inner corner. I've also used it on my um, cheekbones. So I'm going to use a little bit of this to finish off the look and just add a little bit of brightness into the inner corner. I have a couple other mini ones too. Like these are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, which the formula is great. Pick a color that you enjoy from this line if you want a Laura Mercier one. I just absolutely adore the formula. They're creamy, they're rich, they're pigmented, and they're easy to work with. My last like sort of stick form is the color chameleon from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one, this one's called Amber Haze, and this one is sort of marketed for brown eyes. This one is a little different than the other ones um, and for a couple of reasons. First off, it is a jumbo pencil, so you do need to sharpen it. The color is absolutely beautiful. It is just hands down one of my favorites. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury. It's my favorite high-end brand. But this color in particular, I will swatch it for you, it is the exact tone of bronze that I love. I love a good bronze eyeshadow, and I will wear it to the end of time. And that's what this is. It's that perfect color. It just looks beautiful. Bronze for me is that perfect one and done that I always go to when I need to have some color in my eyes, a little bit of smokiness, but not too dark. I do like some of these other ones that I showed you that are a little bit more on the cooler side, but I do love a good bronze eyeshadow. So Amber Haze is perfection. The only thing that's different about this one versus the other ones is that this sets pretty quick. So you would have to kind of work with one eye at a time. Scribble it on and immediately blend and then move on to the next eye. If you scribble and scribble and then go back and blend, it's not going to move because these set and stay in place. It's a beautiful formula, especially that color, but you have to kind of work quick because look, if I'm trying to like blend this out, it still is a little bit creamy, 
But once this is fully blended, it's not going to go anywhere. And then it's going to be hard to blur those edges and lines. Um, it's not a bad thing. You just have to kind of know before going into the color chameleons that they do require a little bit more sort of work to get it to blend. So I love those. Recommend them 100%. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, the eyes to mesmerize. I just pulled a couple from my collection. I love Oyster Pearl, which is more of like a bronzy with a touch of kind of warm, but then it also is a little bit more cool tone. So it's just one of those like straightforward kind of colors that I absolutely love. Pillow Talk is the one that I'm wearing today and I'll show you what I did with this one today for today's eye look. Exaggerize is a little bit lighter. So if I wanted something a little bit more light with a little bit more sparkle, and I, again, will show you this, this one up close as well in the um, next portion of the video, which is a tutorial and demo. These are creamy. They're moussey. The texture is different than the Shadow Sticks. There is a little bit of playtime with these, and they apply beautifully with a brush with your finger. For cream, like pots as well, like little glass jars, this is like the Paint Pots by MAC. I use Painterly as my primer, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in the video um, as we move on. But these Longwear Paint Pots also have a few different colors. They have some with some shimmer, some that are a little bit lighter, some that are a little bit darker, so you can get one that gives you that one shadow look, but then also helps with priming, and I've never had issues with this creasing on me, and this is what I use as my primer before anything. So I did apply some of that first before using the Pillow Talk from Charlotte in the demo. I have some other options as well, some other cream ones like the Victoria Beckham. These are the Lid Lusters. That sounds like a tongue twister. These are actually really, really beautiful. They're very metallic, very sparkly, but in a sophisticated way. Um, Victoria Beckham is a very, very posh, very upscale, beautiful line of products, and it's not gonna be super glittery and over the top. If you want some glitter, I will show you one that can be used with everything else as a topper that adds a little bit of something for that one and done kind of look. You can also use it on its own and it's really, really pretty. So I'll share that in a moment. But Victoria Beckham has these that are really great. Chanel also makes a really good one. This one's in the shade called Undertone number 802. This is really great. It's a cream with a bit of a kind of bronzy, slightly kind of warm tone. It's just really, really nice. And you can see that kind of through the bottom, which I like how they're clear glass. So you can actually see the product itself. Liquids, I like the Armani liquid eyeshadows. This one is in number nine, cold copper, and it's beautiful. I love the applicator of these. There's different tones, lots of different shades. There are some that are more satin. This is more metallic. Then they also have some matte options. And I will swatch this for you, but this is just, it's a dream to work with this formula. And the color is just absolutely dynamite. This is probably one of my most favorite ones. Besides Golden Bronze from Bobbi Brown, this one here, number nine from Armani, is just, it's everything. And the formula is perfection. So if you can try one of those, find a color in that range that you like. I like the liquid formula. I personally don't take the applicator on these Armani eye tints and apply. Because first of all, there's a lot of product on here. And in the center of this doe foot applicator, which I will show you, there is a bit of a hole. And inside of that hole, it captures some of the product itself. So that's what the applicator looks like. It's got that point, which essentially is perfect for the inner corner to get right in that tight space and then kind of drag it across the lid and apply it. It's like applying the just the thinnest formula. It's kind of liquidy but it doesn't run, it's not too thick and goopy. It's thinner than the Ice to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. But I personally like to put it on my hand, use a brush and apply it, or put it on the back of a compact or something like that, a makeup palette and then apply it. But this color is just beautiful and as you can see, when you rub it, not much comes off at all, if any. It's in place and it's kind of slightly bronzy but then there's like a subtle kind of coolness to it. But then when you turn it, it's kind of like a rose goldy, bronzy. I don't know how to describe this color, but it's just, you have to experience it to see what I mean because it is just beautiful. And the other one that I wanted to show you that you could use as a topper, or even if you wanted something kind of glittery, something fun, something different, unexpected, 
that you could just throw on with your finger and just kind of tap it on or just swipe it on. It's the Urban Decay Space Cowboy um, eyeshadow. These are the Moon Dust eyeshadows. I remember when they had the palette many, many years ago where it was some of these in a like dark kind of grayish palette and there was a few of them. I actually like this sort of clear component here, but that's what the Space Cowboy looks like. It's kind of sparkly and pretty, but there is a little bit of depth to it. It's not going to be a lot of pigment as far as like the actual base of it. You will pick up a little bit of a subtle kind of maybe like a rose goldy kind of vibe to it, but you will pick up a lot of that kind of silvery sparkle, which I feel like is nice if you want something sparkly with a good liquid liner, like a black liquid liner mascara, that would be absolutely beautiful. Or to use this to kind of amp up the finish of a different cream shadow, a shadow stick, um, these sort of creamy ones, anything. You could definitely use something like these Moon Dust shadows just to kind of like an FYI. The Moon Dust formulas have more glitter in them, so they're going to add a lot more impact than something with shimmer, something that's more metallic, or even a satin finish. So you kind of have some some options, you know, if you want some fun, some glitter. Having one of these like in a single is perfect because you can use it with anything, even a powder eyeshadow underneath as well. I have some other options as well, like some powder, and some, these are actually creams from Rose Ink, but like these hypnotizing pop shots from Charlotte Tilbury are also pretty great as well. I just picked one random one out of my collection to show you. This one here, um, if you're curious, it's called Smoky Quartz, and it is a bit cooler, smokier, and just perfection in every way. And there is some sparkle to this one, but there's some depth. So you can definitely buff this out and get that impact and that depth there. And also a little bit of a kind of sparkly, almost like diamonds on the eye kind of effect, which I absolutely love. This one is a cream from Rose Ink. This is just the duo that I bought last, I think last fall. This one is the Satin Copper and Copper Shimmer. This one is kind of glittery, the topper. But this one here is like a creamy, very warm, kind of like an old penny kind of vibe. It's beautiful. And I actually really enjoy this color, the finish. It's a little bit drier in texture than some of the other ones. So if you are wanting a cream that isn't so emollient and so creamy, like let's say the Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte, these from Rose Ink are just a little bit drier in texture and formula. But they do stay on. They do apply pigment and it is a more soft kind of finish. It's not as metallic, nowhere near as glittery or impactful as some of these other ones that I swatched earlier. And you can also use an eyeshadow from a palette to do one and dones. You can definitely take this into that sort of palette category as well for eyeshadows. It doesn't have to be a cream shadow stick. It doesn't have to be a liquid eyeshadow or you know a loose single eyeshadow. It could be a palette that has some different options and tones, but the idea behind it is to pick something that has a bit of a shimmer or metallic finish because that's just how the light is gonna catch it and it's gonna reflect differently on the eyes. So that is the beauty of the one and done. So enough rambling about some options and what I would say are some really great recommendations. I'm gonna show you how I did my eye look today using the Ice Mesmerize and Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury to do this look. And I will show you start to finish formula. I always start with some type of base. And Painterly for me personally is a really good tone. It has a little bit of a slight pink tone where it kind of covers and sort of tones down the look of the veins and that very thin skin that we already have around our eyes. You can see the veining discoloration. So I kind of like to tone that down and start with like a fresh blank canvas so these are really great and the best thing about it is that it not only adds a little bit of color to sort of correct some veining but it also prevents creasing so it kind of takes care of that as well so it's two things in one jar this is the pillow talk one that has a bit more of a pinky kind of rusty tone to it and the texture is very moussey very creamy Easy to work with and blend, but once you have it blended and set, it doesn't go anywhere. And then I usually just kind of put it right on the back of the jar, like that. And then I work with it with a brush. You can use your finger with these. You have some play time, but like I said, once it sets, it's good to go. So I like to use just a regular eyeshadow brush. This is the first one I picked up was a Refer number two brush. 
and I'm just going to sort of work that into the bristles of my brush. And then I'm going to apply that close to the root of my lash and then working that all over the lid. And then as I'm getting closer to my crease, I'm just sort of slightly feathering it and blending it, not applying a lot of pressure and just making sure that it is pretty seamless from here to here where it's not just a strip of color and it's not blended. So that kind of gives me a slight wash of color. There's a little bit of a pinkiness that you can pick up from it, but it's not super pink. It's not like Barbie pink. It's a very flattering, very natural pink, which is the beauty of the Pillow Talk color range in all her Pillow Talk products. It's that romantic, flattering tone of pink, and I think it looks good across the board with every skin tone. So I absolutely love this formula, and as you can see, that literally just took a few seconds to apply and blend and that's the beauty of the one and done as I mentioned before it's super quick and super fast so I am a big fan of these types of looks so again I'm gonna apply a little bit more on this eye so you can see how this looks when you layer just a little bit more and you can use like I said your finger kind of tap out the edges so it's blended. Also want to take some of that color with a pencil brush and this is a refer number 26 brush. I'm going to take some of that whatever's left on my jar. See I don't have much left but I'm going to take a little bit of that and kind of really work that into the brush and I'm going to take this color and go down my lower lash lines just a little bit too so it's like a full look. I'm not ignoring the bottom lashes. And this brush, number 26 from Refer, is perfect for this step. I'm going to finish off with some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll show you the full face completed so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the completed eye look with a good two coats of mascara and a little bit of the Makeup by Mario pencil. What I did was I lined and then I smudged it with my finger. This is the Master Pro Pigment Pencil in the shade The Perfect Brown which it truly is the perfect brown. It's like a good deep chocolatey brown and it's perfection. I blended that with my finger and it'll stay put all day. I also use that in my waterline to tight line. And then the two coats of my Pillow Talk Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. And that is the entire look. And it could not be more simple and easy to do. And then I did do the mascara on the lower lashes. I skipped the liner in the lower waterline just because I felt like that kind of would be more... A little, little bit more dramatic. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just that I just kind of wanted to kind of keep things as simple as possible. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful if you're kind of wanting to do the one and done eyeshadows but you don't know what formula to try, what brand, where to go because there's so many different options. So many different cream shadows out there on the market. So many of them that are really great but you just don't know which one. I hope that this video kind of helped you and kind of guided you in the direction of one of these brands. If I had to recommend one shadow stick brand, I would say try the Bobbi Brown ones. For cream shadows, I would say Eyes to Mesmerize. And for liquid, I would say the Armani ones. So there you have it. Those would be my top three out of everything that I showed you to try. And hopefully you'll find some of your favorites. If you have favorites that you wanna share, some of your favorite one and done eyeshadows, I love hearing from you guys and hearing your recommendations. Let me know in the comment section because I am always down to try new products and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. You can follow me on Instagram. It's always here on the screen. We can chat there and be friends. I hope you're doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.